What's going on guys? Welcome back to Need for Speed Payback. It has been a very, very long time since I last jumped into this game, but today I wanted to jump in and do something that I still haven't done just yet. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram or any of my social media platforms, you might have seen that the guys from Castrol sent me out to PAX East to co-host the Castrol Edge Titanium Time Trial Challenge with Theo, with Tasty Steve, and with Luke, some guys you may have seen in some cool stuff. Anyways, if you missed it, essentially what we did is we ran through the Castrol Edge Titanium Time Trial Challenges in Need for Speed Payback, and the person who achieved the lowest time, the fastest person of the day, was actually winning a trip, an all-inclusive paid trip, all the way out to PAX West, which was really, really cool. Anyways, Tasty Steve, who was one of the guys who I was co-hosting with, he was saying, hey Nick, you should really give this a go and try it out for yourself and see what you're able to do and see what type of times you're able to bang out and see if you could have beaten the guy who won. And in today's video, I have a feeling I'm going to actually embarrass myself because the guy who won was very, very fast. So, so let's see what we're able to do. I am going to be driving some incredible cars today, including the Range Rover SVR, which is still not available to buy in this game. And I wanted to talk about that as well. So let's hit these up. Anyway, so for this first event, we are ripping it around in a modified wide body Audi R8. The time to beat on my screen here I have is a 323.6. I think that's pretty quick. All right, so let's give this thing a go. I have a feeling that time is gonna be a lot harder to beat than I think. I honestly don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. I haven't played this game for quite a while. I am rusty, but I am gonna give it a go. I watched people drive around this circuit all day. I'm pretty sure the guy who set that time did make a couple of mistakes in his run, so maybe it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. I, I, I gotta get used to the physics again in this game. Like, it is very different. You can see, like, I'm picking it up a little bit, but I, I just feel like I'm not going very fast. Man, I'm getting on the NOS way too early, too. We gotta maximize that performance. We need that titanium strength. You know it. Hashtag sponsored by Castrol. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's push, man. We gotta go. Like, I, I wanna cut these corners to try to save time, but I feel like it's gonna hurt if I don't have NOS saved up to get us boosted across. That seemed like it was pretty quick now. There we go. No! I ruined it. I ruined it. I was doing well. All right, we got a little hairpin here. If I can nail this, that would be fantastic. Ooh, I nail it through there into the short little off-road section and down the hill we go. I, was, I remember when we were casting this, everyone was running into that wall on the right. I am not gonna do that. I am gonna turn early. All right, let's keep pushing. Come on. Get this little R8 up the hill. Ooh, smash into those. Not such a good idea. I'm gonna take a little corner cut there. I don't know if that's gonna save me much time. Could have taken actually a much bigger corner cut there. I'm look. Maybe I'll do a couple of attempts at this because I feel like I can go a lot faster already. I can also cut through there. I'm gonna restart. Side bet. Oh, I'm gonna take the side bet as well. Six to one. I can hit 141, 40 miles an hour. Hell yeah, I'm gonna take that. I, I'm pretty sure I'm like dirt poor in this game still. So I gotta, uh, I gotta keep saving up, man. Up the hill again. We're doing more than 100 miles an hour now. Looking good. We're much quicker. Ooh, look at us go, boys. We are doing well. We're picking this up. Ah, oh, I'm out of NOS. I need that NOS saved up for the, for the key points. I'm gonna chuck it through the gas station here. I think chucking it through the gas- No, chucking it through the gas station doesn't refill your NOS. All right, can I hit 140 miles an hour across the bridge? I hope so. I'm sort of like outrunning the fireworks. That is a good sign. I'm up to 160, 170 across the bridge. I don't, I don't know if that's enough, man. Like, that sounds pretty quick, but I don't know. We'll see. I found it's almost better to not use all your NOS in one go- Okay. I say that as I use all my NOS in one go. I'm out running the thingies again. All right, this is when I can do my cheeky corner cut, I think. Yeah, I think I can just go. I think that's gonna save a lot of time. I think so. I mean, I definitely could have got a better run up off the jump, but that's gonna save me a huge amount of time. I'm not gonna go for that silly corner cut there. That's too risky. I don't wanna do that. The thing is, these guys only had one attempt at this, right? It was either for them like nail it or break it. So I gotta, I gotta just drive clean. I gotta put myself in their shoes. Oh, I got really close to that wall. No, I ruined my speed and my time. As I was coming across the bridge, the finish line is right here. What is the time? Cool, cool. I, 
13 seconds slower. Yeah, I don't think I can make up 13 seconds. <laughs> Remember that part where I said, I'm gonna embarrass myself today? I did that. <laughs> the next one is all the way down here. All right, let's give that one a go. All right, let's give this second one a go. Drift continuously for 300 yards. I'll take that one too. That's looking good. So, okay, this one is really cool. Because it features one of my favorite cars of all time, the Range Rover SVR. And of course the thing is modified. It's It's got like, I think it's got like pulled fenders. Anyways, it's got like wide body, or uh, big wide tires, I mean. It's looking super, super cool. And this thing, still for whatever reason, is not in need for speed payback. I don't know what the delay is for. All I know is I really want to drive this thing. Anyways, usually off-road on Need for Speed, I actually have some trouble. So I'm gonna try to just drive as cleanly as possible. Wait, wait, what's my time to beat on this one? My time to beat is a 149. Okay, so it's not as long as the first one. I just gotta keep pushing, oh God. We're doing well, oh God, through the fireworks there. I remember this jump, we gotta take a slight left. Looking fantastic, I lined that up beautifully for the next jump as we jump over the telephone poles. Looking fantastic once again. Ooh, sharp left. Forgot about that. See, here's the thing. I haven't played these events myself, but since I was able to commentate over them so many times during the live show, I have learned the circuit. All right, we gotta keep going. We got the bumpy bits of the section. Gotta save up our nosh for this. Use it all. There we go. We're almost at the finish. There it is. There's the finish. Not the nicest jump. I lost some time there for sure. And across the line, 154. All right, so I was only five seconds slower than your boy who won the final thing. Okay, okay. That leads me on to event number three. And here's the cool thing with event number three. During the thing, nobody was actually able to beat the thing clean. Every single time, somebody crashed and rolled their car. So if I can get through this final circuit, Without crashing, I might be able to set one hell of a time. So the question is, are we going to be able to beat any of the times, or are we going to be getting smashed in every single event? I have a feeling it's the second one. Anyways, for this one, we are running the Castrol Edge Mustang. This is the one that Theo and Luke drove in that cool video that you probably saw. There's actually an ad for it in Canada, which is really cool. So if you're like, if you're... That, that's not the best start. Let, I, I want a good time, okay? Anyways, if you're actually in Canada, you can actually see the ad during like Toronto Raptors games or like NHL games as well. It's really cool. I'm like, oh, that's my friend. I know that guy. Anyways, let's, uh, let's... Let's try that again is what we're gonna do. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? Instead of taking that little shortcut there, I'm gonna run wide here so I can get a better exit of the corner. There we go. That was good there. Nice, 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 nice. But anyways, back to that Range Rover real quick. I don't know why that Range Rover's not in the game. All I know is I really want it. It's such an incredible car. And the only way you can actually drive the thing right now is by doing these Castrol events, which is cool, but I want to own the thing too. All right, so what's my time to beat? Two minutes and 23 seconds. Let's see if I'm able to do that. The tricky thing with this course is that I genuinely do not know where I'm going most of the time. Like... When I was commentating, I was saying this as well, like, you you have two path options most of the time. Like, you see what I mean? There's trees in the middle of the path, or in the middle of the course. And you legitimately have to make a decision at the very last minute of whether you go right or left. And sometimes that could mean taking a corner, like compromising a corner and coming out slow and ruining your time. That's what I gotta try to figure out. I'm trying to figure it out on the fly. I just gotta keep pushing though. Ooh, nice little shortcut there. Good little discovery. That's good. That's all learning. If I do this again, we're doing fantastic. Like I said though, no one was able to do this course clean. So if I can run through this without problem, I might be able to set one hell of a time. I saw another little shortcut back there. Okay, again, we're still learning. Looking good. This is where people crash though. I wanna try to run through here clean. There's only a thousand yards remaining. There was a jump that everyone had a hell of a lot of trouble with. Nice castle van there. Looking good. All right. This was the jump everyone had trouble with. We take the jump. We make the jump. Was that it? That, was, that wasn't the jump. It seemed so much harder when I was commentating everyone. That's it? That's going to do it? Maybe that time's better. 223.7? No. He did a 223.3. Are you having a laugh?
I mean, it goes to show, though. Like, I'm obviously not the best driver in this game, but it goes to show just how fast people really are. Man, Castrol Edge Series 1, thank you very much. I don't actually know what I get for this, for completing this. I get, I get a base shipment. Very nice, thank you. Oh, oh, I get a couple of base shipments. I didn't know that. Man, I didn't even feel like that was such a good run. Okay, you know what, you know what, you know what? We're gonna do it again. All right, let's go, little Mustang. We gotta set one hell of a time. We were 0.5 seconds off last time. We can definitely do it. Whoops, looking backwards there by accident. We can definitely do this, though. We're gonna be good. Like, like I said, my previous- <sighs> Never mind. This is my final attempt, okay? I'm not giving myself any more chances. The guy's only had one. This is my sixth. I'm feeling very good about this run. I'm using my NOS at the right- Well, um... It turns out, apparently, I'm not fast enough for any of them. Although I was close, I'm not fast enough. <laughs> well, on that incredible disappointment, and me finding out I'm actually not very good at this game, thank you so much for watching. I am not fast enough to do- Ow! Oh! You see what I mean? <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can subscribe down below. Go check out the actual video where they drove this thing around. Link is down below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!